for a long time and I'm finally getting around to the breakdown of this bike uh, on our channel you'll see six episodes of me crying because we came into a little hiccup with uh, the engine build uh, while building the engine there was a lot of rusty parts so this bike was bought in PA it's a 2002 technically on paper uh, 883 um, this is my like fourth sports I've ever owning, but this is like one of the more cooler bikes I've ever built. It's my first stunt build, and I think it has around like twenty thousand miles on it. I put on a, a, a pretty decent amount. This is my, you know, my go bike. It's my, you know, sending it to different events, putting on different parts. Uh, if you go to Motables.com, there's actually two parts that I'll get into in a minute, and. You know, it's just one of those cool things. I think everyone should own a Sportster. I own a Dyna too. We're actually raffling the Dyna. So if you ever go on our website, you'll see raffle tickets for sale. Or follow the instructions on our Motobulls page, Motobulls official on Instagram. And you'll see little, you know, uh, rules to enter the raffle. So, you know, that's my 2002 Dyna Super Glide that's outside right now because I have to make room in here. But anyway, let's get into the build. I rebuilt this bike pretty much from top to bottom since owning it. It was in PA, living outside. Some kid got it from his dad and just never took care of it. It was always in the snow. It was in horrible condition. And like I said, it was just, just a rusty mess. But I got it for $600, so I wasn't the most angry about that. $600 for a Sportster is like unheard of. And it was an 883. So honestly, if you find... A sportster for that good of a deal, you go and buy it. You know, sportsters are way too expensive. Anyway, let's get into the parts now. I'll, I'll knock out suspension first before I get into the really cool parts. Front suspension is uh, progressive. No, front suspension, yeah, is progressive. I have the heavy duty progressives in the front, and then I have um, Amazon fork extension tubes, right? It just the, the caps, so they screw on the cap. And it's you know two inches higher, so I'm able to get you know, longer travel. And honestly, I'm not the tallest, but it makes the bike fit my height a little bit better, having two inches in the front higher. And then we have in the rear the adjustables by Drag Specialty. I think they're set at 13 and a half right now. Could be wrong. I'm not I'm horrible at math, but those are at max length out, maxed out. And um, those are actually from another build that I had. So I didn't buy a suspension. Eventually I'll get, you know, Legends or something for the rear. But those right now are perfect. Uh, they handle abuse well, you know, a lot of burnouts and a lot of attempt wheelies. So front and rear suspension, you know, for my height, I'm 5'10", works perfect for me. I'm, I wouldn't change the height at all for me. But if you did and you wanted to, those adjustables go two inches down past stock length too. So you can go down and then fit a shorter rider if you needed to. So if, you know, my girlfriend ever wanted to ride it, well, you know, she has the Grom right now. But if my girl ever wanted to ride it, I'd, you know, adjust everything up and have her ride it. All right. So suspension's out the way. While we're in the rear, uh, I have a Saddleman seat. Saddleman makes very comfortable seats. I've had it on Dinas and I've had them on this Sportster. And for a small booty like me, that saddleman seat fits me perfectly. If you have a wide keister, uh, I suggest trying to look for like a Mustang seat. But right now, my small little booty is fine with that. Uh, I have back problems too, lower lumbar problems. And that little step up right there, and that little cushion, oh, amazing. So for a small bike, it having back support makes my day. 
All right. Uh, what else we got? I got the crash. So I'll go into the crash bar too. The rear crash bar is from Who's Cami. I have a front crash bar from Who's Cami as well, but uh, it's somewhere floating upstairs. I haven't put it on because I've been working on it. And I've been rewiring the bike. Like I said, it's been sitting outside its whole life. So now that it's you know gotten a lot more work on it, I'll put on the crash bar later. But the crash bar from Who's Cami, most affordable things in the world. I plug in my boy. It's um, Who's Cami over in Arizona. One guy shop, handmade parts, beautiful tone. Probably one of the more affordable parts that are out there for as far as crash bars go. And then what else we got? I have a chain conversion kit from Vulcan, another one-man show, one-guy shop, handmade parts. Uh, Vulcan is my go-to for chain conversion kits. Uh, again, the quality is shown for you know what you get. It's not the mass-produced parts, and I don't want to throw shade to any of the bigger brands, but you can tell higher quality parts when when you buy them and they're really focused on you know one guy you know myself being you know uh, a one-man show with parts you know when you when you get parts from people who care it really shows the work uh what else we got i got the tc sprocket cover because when you do the chain conversion kit the stock sprocket cover is just you know junky you could make the stock work but i opted in for the tc bros uh sprocket cover just because it's it's a lot cooler honestly i don't i don't know if it serves any purposes if it, it does fall it has more rigidity but uh it's all style at this point style points um as we work our way up now i have tc bros foot controls um pretty affordable this is a budget build mind you so i think the controls are like 175 i think i got them on sale and then i have them paired up with amazon pegs so the shifter peg is 10 bucks and the pegs for the feet are only 20 bucks so 30 bucks total fucking beautiful and what else we got i got ebay you know normal exhaust pipes uh a buddy of mine gave me them i am gonna put a two to one eventually but you know for now just it's a go bike it's not a show bike the little ebay pipes work for me just fine now we're coming forward now right i have a amazon <laughs> again budget bill i have an amazon carburetor amazon carburetor i think it was like 60 bucks best freaking change if you get an old bike and you don't want to spend a lot of money and it's a budget build like this one is that was a 60 dollar buy best thing in the world and uh Everything on this bike is, is relatively cheap. So Google the parts, I'll start dropping in pictures. I probably you know, I've already started dropping in, but I'll drop in pictures with prices soon as I keep talking. Uh, what else? Amazon Rectifier because the, the last one was rusty. So I redid you know, a lot of the wiring, and that Rectifier is brand spanking new from Amazon. Makes the bike look a little bit better. You know, 2002, it was just abused. What else? What else? What else? We got the pipes down. I uh, guess I get to the hand controls now. I have TC Bro tracker bars. Cheap. I think like 100 bucks. The tracker bars have a better bend to them rather than like straighter bends around here. So the tracker bar bends have exactly what I was looking for. It's almost shoulder length. It's very comfortable. And then I have that paired off with like cheap $50 uh, drag specialty risers and then I do have our own machined uh, handlebar clamps I say multiples on there those were a prototype so they're not on the shop yet you'll see them soon uh, do, 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 do. that windshield buddy of mine gave me that too that windshield was from uh, what is that Memphis shade Memphis shade windshield it's one of those things where I'm in you know different states and i do rip on this bike but if i need to go around to the event and i don't want wind in my face it works perfectly and i got a little speaker that i just jam and wedge in there so that works perfect you know the windshield it comes off when we want to stunt it so we don't have to break it it's not a pristine windshield it's it's janky it's scratched up but it does the work uh what else stock throttle stock brake um arlen grips just the best grippiest grips ever had. 
um, Amazon, a lot of this bike is Amazon, holy shit. Amazon front brake braided line, which was really fancy for Amazon. I didn't expect it to be that nice. And uh, yeah, it was really good. Works well. Been ripping on it with it. And now I'll get into uh, my little last venture. And there's episodes, two episodes out of the headache I had with the Harbor Freight, but I have a Harbor Freight floodlight in the front, uh, custom bracket made by me. Uh, if you want it, just just hit me up. Follow me on, on Amazon, and I'll make you that. I'll make it for you for like 15 bucks if you want. Uh, throw me a price, 15, 20 bucks, because it's a pain in the ass to make. But I made a custom bracket for a Harbor Freight floodlight, and then the wire harness that's with it is also Harbor Freight. So 26 bucks was the light, 26 bucks was the harness i'm bad at math let me do some math that's 52 right don't quote me but still a lot cheaper than having the moon mc or like other brands that make floodlights that go from like 100 to like 150 200 so for less than 50 dollars or 50 dollars somewhere around there I got this little cool setup. So again, hit me up if you want the bracket and then just go buy the harness. I did have to cut down the harness though. And in that episode, you'll see it. I had to cut it back and then make it fit, you know, proper. But now it's all buttoned up and it's all set up now. Uh, doodly doodly do. I gotta like turn around and look at the bike to see what the hell I put on it. The engine was rebuilt. It was an 883. Uh, I didn't have to go 1200, but I got a really sick deal on a 1200 uh, big bore kit, the Hooligan big bore kit. Um, buddy of mine owns a shop upstate in New York, and a customer bought it from it to you know to him, got refunded, and so the shop sat around with this uh, big bore kit that he was supposed to install for the customer's bike, and so it sat for years, I think about a year or two, and the owner hit me up and was like, hey do you want it and i bought it for 200 bucks which is a steal i think retail for the hooligan kit is like 800 and, and maybe more so this bike is sitting right now with stock cams uh the stock cams if anything feel great with this engine this bike actually feels faster than stock 1200s that i've ridden and i don't know why so if you know why this bike feels faster i like it might be just me but it fucking rips. It rips. It shreds. Um, I'm, in the beginning, I probably had to put in a video, but if not, then I'll put in a video right now of it shredding again if I haven't put it already. And this bike, you know, wants to wheelie. This bike rips the way it is, and it's just freaking amazing. Every time I ride it, I'm more and more impressed by it. What else we got? But that that has six episodes on the engine build. Uh, well, I think like two, three episodes on the engine build of me just straight up crying. Because the rusted bolts that were just with it, and it's just a pain in the ass. I do have cams from, uh, I think, like, AJ something. AJ something. But I do have cams upstairs to make it a little faster. But honestly, you don't really need it. Um, that's why I haven't done it yet. <laughs> do, 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 do. What else did I do? I don't know. I think that's all I did to it. And then hentai stickers everywhere. Hopefully YouTube doesn't say anything about the hentai stickers but i want to just go around it because i haven't really worked on this bike like that yeah that's that's pretty much it that's the build you know stock uh throttle and idle line stock clutch cable that will soon be changed but uh the more it evolves i guess later down the line when it's really done up maybe when i get a change on the the paint and do a paint job i'll do another episode but that is the bike the way it sits it's an amazing bike it's long overdue since i've talked about it and yeah the bike after all these parts that i've mentioned are just the stuff i've done and now it, it just sits relatively stock after that um you know besides like the small maintenance like the amazon brakes amazon's just sponsor me at this point I, I i use a lot of motorcycle parts from amazon and you know what they're good i don't knock out those little cheap chinese amazon products because man they do they work they do they work and they save me a lot of money and this is one of my three bikes and 
possibly pending a fourth bike soon. So, yeah, that's the that's the build. I hope you watched the other episodes. I hope you enjoyed this little breakdown. Hope I enlightened people to just buy a Sportster and have fun. Because, goddamn, it's one of those cool things that you could just throw a little bit of money into it and have a great time. Uh, I think the next thing that's pending for this build is just like upgrading small things. Again, the cam, some of the lines that are stock lines, and then definitely a two to one. So if anybody knows anyone with a two to one exhaust, uh, you know, for relatively good price, let me know. Again, this is my budget bike. I don't want to spend a lot of money on my budget bike. This bike does fall on the floor and yeah, I don't want to spend a lot of money on it now. Oh, the parts I have for sale. <laughs> I do have um, what we helped develop a cool headlight. It's the Motobulls LED headlight, 21 LEDs, a lot of lumens, very bright. Um, that paired with the floodlight, it's brighter than any bike I own now. <laughs> so the headlight alone, one of those cool things that you just slap on and it changes the look of your bike really quick. Then I have the uh, air cleaner cover. Um, Oh, snap. The carburetor has a uh, Arlen's air cleaner. Totally forgot to mention that. Pretty cheap. I think the Arlen air cleaner is like 80 bucks, but I got that secondhand. I think it actually came with a bike. Actually, someone gave it to me. And then the air cleaner cover says ride fast, eat ass, because you, know, you got to let the people know. So, yeah. Now I think I've done everything. And now I hope you enjoy, and I hope you go buy a Sportster. And that's pretty much it. Uh, pff, yo. Thanks for watching all whatever subscribers I have on YouTube. And if anyone is on from the Instagram, the Instagram has a big following. So thank you, everyone. Thanks for supporting. If you bought products from us, I appreciate you. And uh, just keep looking forward. We're going to keep developing new parts. And then we're going to keep, you know, just banging out and developing everything for Harley Davidson's and possibly other bikes. All right. That's it. Hopefully I kept this pretty short. I didn't want to be too long with it but uh buy a sportster or buy any bike if you haven't bought a bike and if you do own a bike buy a sportster because having a second bike as a sportster is just freaking amazing all right that's it that was a little boring but i hope you enjoyed it and i definitely will drop links to all the parts that i have in the description and i will definitely drop a link to my store that way you can buy the air cleaner cover and then the headlight pending we're having uh, shirts coming in next week and then probably in two weeks we have our own gloves that say ride fast eat ass because that's just it's my little logo my little uh catchphrase right ride fast eat ass everyone should do it and that's it all right thanks for watching have a great one peace out